I'm Mr. Low Tech here. Today we're going to be road testing an 1895 Grister or Grinder. This was made by the Enterprise Company in Philadelphia from the US in the latter part of the 19th century. These would have been commonplace in an Australian kitchen of that particular era. They were very high tech in those days. What they used to do is they used to grind your coffee in the morning. They would uh, grind up the shell grit. If you've got shells from eggs, etc., etc. They did bone meal, and they also did dried or cracked corn. Once you dried the corn, they would crack it for stock food, or you could make a corn flour, which you could actually make into a hominy or a corn meal. If you want to use one of these original grinders from the latter part of the 19th century, if you're a homesteader or you want to practice a bit more sustainability at home, up the elbow grease and down the energy bill, then these are still available. You can still buy them. In fact, I purchased this one not long ago. They're a very, very good item to have in your kitchen. They're a very, very good item if they are complete. And a lot of them aren't. When you go out and purchase these, they're pretty much for decoration. This little key here is for adjusting the washers here on the spindle behind this wheel and they allow for a coarse or fine grind. So if you're doing corn you want a coarser grind, if you're doing coffee well you want to make sure you adjust that grind to the right texture. These keys are nearly always missing. You can make something to replace it but it's absolutely crucial in adjusting the spindle on the grinder as are the little washers inside here. Nearly always missing from pieces when you purchase. Make sure there's no cracks in it either because cast iron, this is all cast, cast iron is very expensive to repair and weld. So make sure there's no chips or breaks or cracks in it because if it is, then it isn't gonna work properly. A grinder or a grister in this condition will cost you in Australia about $350 to $500 Australian. They are around, you can find them. I found this one only recently and it is in beautiful condition. It hasn't been butchered. The grinding plate on the back is in really good condition as well. Make sure that that's the case when you buy yours. And this will restore up really, really well. And in fact, in later videos, we're going to show you how we restore this back to its original condition. So keep your eyes open. They are around. There's a 750, which is what this one is. And there's a smaller one called the 650, which is probably better for grinding flour. It, it grinds it at a much finer rate than the 750 does. So good luck, and I'll see you next week.